Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. In today's video, I am going to share with you how I created a corner bench for my kitchen nook. I have been wanting one of these for quite some time and I finally took the plurge and got it done. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing I'm doing is removing my baseboard. I'm using a utility knife just to cut off, um, you know, the paint so I don't damage the walls or damage the paint too much. And once that done, I'm just gonna go ahead with uh, my hammer and this um, flat tool and just go ahead and remove all my baseboard. As you can see here on the floor, I have green tape and that's the size that my bench will be. So I just put that in place to guide me and make it easier when it comes to put my pieces together. Now I'm measuring the height that I want my bench to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure it on both walls and get the height situated. I'm using a level. Um, just to make myself a mark uh, all along the wall so that way when I come to put my uh, wood piece there um, I don't have to use a level again now time to find where the studs are so that my bench will be nice and secure when I screw it to the wall I got a bunch of 2x4s at Home Depot and I'm using my miter saw to cut all the pieces the length that I need. And here are all my pieces are ready to go. I'm going to take these into the house. So the way I'm putting these together, it's basically creating like a ladder and just screwing everything together. I'm using this tool to make sure um, that I put my board in between straight. I'm not sure what the name of this tool is in English, um, an angle tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's nice and straight and I'm gonna screw this piece in place. Now my first piece is done and that's the longest piece and I'm gonna go ahead and create the shortest piece now. Now on this one, I have to pay attention as to where I'm putting my board because I do have a furnace vent. So I need to separate that to make sure if I wanna put a vent in the front of my bench, 
I'm gonna make sure I allow for some space to be able to put a some kind of a pipe to come out. Uh, but I don't use my furnace very often. I have a wood stove, so that's our main uh, eat source. But in case I do wanna use my furnace, I wanna have the option of uh, putting a vent in front of my bench. But for now, I'm not going to do that. I'm only gonna do that if I need to. Now I'm going to go ahead and screw a piece of board uh, on that line. This will be my back support for my bench and I didn't make a ladder. It's not necessary. Uh, it just would be a waste of wood. I'm just going to go ahead and screw this piece uh, right to the stud. I'm using a level just to make sure that I put this piece nice and straight and then I'm going to go ahead and screw it on the other end. Now I'm using my pocket hole jig to make some hole into my 2x4. And this kit came with the um, drill bit. So all I have to do is use this one. I don't have to go search for another one and it's the proper size to make the holes I need. So it always works better with a battery. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes that I need. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the end pieces together with the holes that I created with my pocket hole jig. Now I'm screwing this little piece to the stud and once I'm done with this I'm going to go ahead and put my front piece to this uh, back piece. Then again, I'm using the holes that I made with my uh, pocket hole jig. It makes it so much easier to screw these 2x4s together. Now I'm moving on to the smallest piece of my bench and I'm just repeating the exact same thing I did with the longer piece.
in this part here you can really see how easy it is to work with the holes that I created with the uh, pocket hole jig um, I love that tool I'll be using this over and over again Now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that everything is level and the measurements are right before I attach these two pieces together. And this is what my base looked like and it is very very sturdy I got my hobby in the garage cutting me the piece the size that I need to put in front um, of my bench um, I'm using a um, quarter inch MDF uh, sheet for this it's a very affordable way um, to do this bench so while he's cutting all my pieces I'm gonna go ahead and use my nail gun and put these together I also got my hubby to cut me my pine boards. These are three inches wide and this is what I'm using to do the finish on my bench. So I'm going to go ahead and put these um, all around my bench using my brand nail gun again. I'm also putting some on the corner edges.
The base is completely done and this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm using some wood filler and I'm gonna go ahead and fill all those uh, nail marks that I have around the bench. I'm also filling any gaps that I have around the bench. Um, I do have a few, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that right up. And this may require for me to do this a couple of times to get a nice smooth edge. Now I'm using some white silicone and I'm putting that all around the frame um, edges just to give it a really nice smooth finish. I take my finger and just um, remove the excess um, silicone and then I take a damp cloth and just um, smooth it all out. Now I'm taking a 120 grit um, sand block and just sanding all of that uh, wood filler off. With a cloth, I'm just getting rid of all the dust. I'm going to put a good coat of primer all over the piece. I'm using the bin primer, but the 123 primer uh, is a very good primer as well. I use three quarter inch plywood with um, pine finish on top and I realize I have to cut a piece at the end because of the window ledge and I need to make sure that my board is going to lift past that window ledge so that's why I had to cut these two pieces and then I had to cut the piece out back in order for me to put my uh, bracket on there. Now at this end, my little piece of board that I had uh, was a bit flimsy, so I added another 2x4 just to make it very secure. Now it's time to put my uh, bracket on there just so that I can open the top of uh, my bench for storage. Um, and this is uh, very easy to install. You just install that on the edge and my hubby is helping me. I'm holding the board and he's just putting that in place for me. And this is what it looks like so far. Almost done. Uh, what I need to do now is actually nail um, this board um, onto the frame. So I'm going to use uh, my nail gun and get that done nice and secure. Now I'm using some wood filler to uh, fix any marks uh, that I have on the bench. Um, so I have a big mark here that I have to fix and all the nail holes as well. Now I'm using uh, some bare paint that I have on hand. Um, and this color is called a bit of sugar. And I'm gonna go ahead and give three coats of paint to my bench.
and this is what the bench look like um, I'm really loving the results this is three coat of paint and I'm just gonna allow this to dry properly I got some pre-glued veneer edging and I'm going to put that all along the edge of this plywood. It does not look very good. So I'm using my clothes iron to uh, heat up this veneer and secure it in place. And then all I'm doing after that is taking a sand blocks and um, utility knife and cut off any access uh, that's on the side of it. Now time to smooth out that wood filler that I put all around the bench to fix those um, nail holes and then I'll be ready for staining. And my bench is completed. Now it just needs a nice coat of stain. I couldn't find a stain that I liked. I searched and searched and tried and I had no luck at all. So I decided to create my own by mixing some weathered oak and a flagstone. I wanted to create something that would match my woven baskets. Now I'm using a cotton t-shirt and I'm just going to go ahead and stain this beauty.
I'm loving the nice warm tone of the stain mixed together. It gives me a bit of warmth and a little bit of gray mix into that and I just love it. Now I'm applying three coats of polyurethane by Bare, and I'm allowing to dry between each coat. This is a water base and it dries very quickly within an hour. So it's very pleasant to deal with this uh, product, not to mention that this product has a matte finish. So there's no shine to it at all, which is what I love. I went ahead and beautified this bench with some cushion. Uh, I've been wanted a kitchen uh, nook bench for a while and especially for extra storage. And I am really pleased with the result of this bench. Now I can't wait to finish my table to match to it and complete my uh, kitchen nook. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I would really love those thumbs up and you know I want to hear your comments in the comment box down below and if you're new to my channel and you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet well today is the perfect day to join Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. Stay tuned for the upcoming video of my updated table to match this beautiful bench. I will post that very soon. And until next time, folks, you have yourself a wonderful day.